February 10th, 2024, Memorial of St. Scholastica, Virgin. Jeroboam did not give up his evil ways after this, but again made priests for the high places from among the common people. Whoever desired it was consecrated and became a priest of the high places. This was a sin on the part of the house of Jeroboam, for which it was to be cut off and destroyed from the earth. The Word of the Lord A reading from the first book of Kings. Jeroboam thought to himself, The kingdom will return to David's house. If now this people go up to offer sacrifices in the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem, the hearts of this people will return to their master, Rehoboam, Judah, and they will kill me. After taking counsel, the king made two calves of gold and said to the people, You have been going up to Jerusalem long enough. Here is your God, O Israel, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. And he put one in Bethel, the other in... This led to sin, because the people frequented those calves in Bethel and in Dan. He also built temples on the high places and made priests from among the people who were not Levites. Jeroboam established a feast in the eighth month on the fifteenth day of the month, to duplicate in Bethel the pilgrimage feast of Judah with sacrifices to the calves he had made. And he stationed in Bethel priests of the high places he had built. The Responsorial Psalm The response is, Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In those days, when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way, and some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, Where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? Still he asked them, How many loaves do you have? They replied, Seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He said the blessing over them and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets. There were about 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Damanatha. The Gospel of the Lord. Gospel of the Lord. 